of our guest of honor and speaker, Mayor Josefina Joyce Vigilante. She has been assisted by our regional director, Police Major General, Mayor Lorenzo C. Olizar, and the command group. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome for today's flag raising and awarding ceremonies this 5th day of August 2019. Today's program is being hosted by the Office of the Regional Alterations Division under the leadership of Police Colonel Ramon J. Granada, Chief ROD. Let the ceremonies begin. nasasamahan ng banda ng NCRPO. standing for the invitation to be officiated by Police Lieutenant Colonel Renilo Eitado, Regional Chaplain, NCRTO, to be followed by the Panunupa ng Katapatan sa Matawag ng Pilipinas and the recitation of the Police Officers Pledge privileged by Police Captain Joel S. Villapana, Chief LES ROD. While we rejoice for the presence of one and all, especially the presence of our guests of one and speaker, Honorable Zipina Joy Delmonte, the Mayor of Quezon City, as he awards Papore Katalingan to our deserving personnel, let us not fail to remember and pray for the repose of the souls of Police Corporal Adonis Serrano Bisok Reini, who was drowned at the swimming pool of NCRPO while undergoing waterborne orientation course. We spend a moment of silence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O merciful God, our Creator, we open our hearts in prayer and in grateful appreciation for the gift of life and freedom you have given us. Make us responsive public servants by giving our best in rendering service of our people and society. As we gather today for this class-breaking ceremony, 
Bless all of us here and our family that we may continue to glorify your name as we endure the hardship of being police officers as well as enjoying its reward, especially that we will be receiving a team award of having gained the best police regional office of the year 2019. Under the passionate leadership of Police Major General Guillermo Lorenzo Pellentino Yasar, inspire us all not to rest on our laurels, but rather assist us in carrying out our mission without fear or hesitation. With this prayer, we humbly beseech you to prepare ourselves to resume our respective words with wisdom and inspiration. Lord, Grant success to our major activity this afternoon, the gathering of squad leaders and life coaches to ensure faithful implementation of the new internal cleansing program of the Philippine National Police. Teach us to do our work properly as we manage our lives to achieve our goals. All this we ask through Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We shall now listen to the walk remarks to be given by Police Lieutenant Colonel Romeo Espinosa, Deputy Regional Operations Division. To our uh, Regional Director, Police Major General Guillermo Lorenzo T. Elizar, sir. To our guest uh, speaker, the properly legislator. To our Deputy Regional Director for Administration, Herminio Estadeo Jr., sir. Our Rear uh, Dio, Salto Onyebe, sir. Our CDS, Ronaldo Genaro Ilagan, sir. On behalf of the, uh, the Navi Working Team of Regional Police Division, I am honored to welcome everyone on today's traditional Monday fundraising and awarding ceremonies. Today we are indeed fortunate to have our guest of honor and speaker to grace this occasion. Once again, 
We are gathered on this juncture to build up our commitment as public servants and police officers along with our operational readiness define our succeeding priorities and deep up the time honor institutional principles that public office is a public trust. Furthermore, we will also recognize the officers who have made an immense and significant contribution to our organization, the discipline, compassion, and commitment which they have exemplified will now be given to regard. Allow me to thank our command group led by able leadership of our regional director, Police Major General Guillermo Lorenzo D. Eliazar, for taking the team NCRPO to greater heights and generating a distinct fact of policy in the midst of our intensified cleansing era. As we start another week of public service, let us all be thankful and inspired because despite many challenges, we are still blessed with another brand new day. With this, I encourage everyone to start the week with positive attitude, plan to make the best of it, and surely good things will follow. Again, welcome everyone and Mabuhay Team and CRPO. Thank you, sir, for that warm welcome. We shall now proceed with the awarding of medals for the serving and CRPO personnel. We will request our guest of honor speaker and our regional director, Police Major General Guillermo Lorenzo P. Lizar, to present the awards to be assisted by the command group. Citation reads Pursuant to General Order No. 2019 2909 to 2000. 11 headquarters and CRPO dated August 1, 2019 in recognition of their exceptional performance and dedication to duty during the conduct of the national and local election on May 13, 2019. Personnel of Regional Operation Division were deployed to com competently implement the program of the BNP for secure and fair elections, ensuring the security of the ballots and to protect the human rights of the citizen. The Medalla ng Kasanayan is hereby awarded to Police Colonel Ramon Handok Pranada. Same medal is also awarded to Police Lieutenant Colonel Florian Diaz Reynado. The same medal is also awarded to Police Lieutenant Colonel Romeo Sotelo Panan. Same medal is also awarded to Police Captain Joel Celerio Villapanya. The same medal is also awarded to Police Executive Master Sergeant Lisa Agramon Valdez. The same medal is also awarded to Police Senior Master Sergeant Elnora Seguro Loreño.
The same medal is also awarded to Police Master Sergeant Rex Rosas Casinillo. The same medal is also awarded to Police Staff Sergeant Ronald Carpio Novida. The same medal is also awarded to Police Corporal Carl Ruth Bonalos Carbonai. Caburna. Same medal is also awarded to Police Corporal Juvi Magay and Bird. Finally, the same medal is also awarded to Police Corporal Jonalyn Sipagan Pandayuman. For the same accomplishment, the Medallia ng Asanayan is also awarded to the District Operation and Branch Division of the five police districts of the National Capital Region Police Office. To receive the medal for Eastern Police District, Police Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Navida Fernandez. State medal is also awarded to the Manila Police District to be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Andrew Magdaso Aguirre. State medal is also awarded to the Southern Police District to be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Clarence Capuyan Gumea. Same medal is also awarded to the Cousin City Police District to be received by Police Major Melchor Pedelino Rosales. Finally, same medal is also awarded to the Northern Police District to be received by Police Major Timothy Balao and Aniwai Jr. <laughs> by direction of Police Major General Guillermo Monorenzo T. Elizar, Regional Director and CRPO, Official Ronaldo Elano E. Ilaga, Police Brigadier General, Regional Directorial Staff, Signed Maria Leonora C. Camarao, Police Colonel, Chief RPRMP. We would like to acknowledge the awardees of Emergency Medical Services Training. In consonance with the desire of Police Major General Guillermo Lorenzo T. Eliazar, Regional Director NCRPO, to prepare all personnel for all eventualities, the first batch of 25 police officers from all districts will have their seven weeks of in-depth and intensive life-saving emergency medical training with a scholarship grant by TESDA in cooperation with the Metro Vision EMS and Disaster Management Training and Assessment Center and the Regional Health Service and CRPO. We would re respectfully request our guest of honor and speaker, Mayor Josefina Del Monte, Ms. Annalie Panopio, Supervising TESDA Specialist, Dr. Melvin H. Villarus, Metro Vision, EMS and Disaster Management Training and Assessment, Police Colonel Luis Jose M. Bautista, Chief Regional Health Service, NCRPO, the Regional Director, Police Major General Guillermo Lorenzo T. Lizar, and the Commander to award the scholarship grants. To receive the scholarship grant, 
We would like to request Police Chief Master Sergeant Jacinto A. Banawa. Let us give our awardees a round of applause, please. Thank you, ma'am, sir. Please be seated. This juncture, may we have Police Colonel Ramon J. Granada, Chief ROB, to introduce our guest of honor speakers. Literally, the place has no potable water, 
no electricity and no roads. Siguro si Ma'am Joy na ang magkwento sa inyo. Hindi ko lang po, in 1995, Ma'am Joy took up her graduate studies at the University of Leicester at Leicester, England, where she earned her Master's in Museum Studies. In 1996, Ma'am Joy again took up her graduate studies at the University College of London, where she earned her second graduate diploma, the Master's in Archaeology. For the duration of her master's program, she focused on studying about Southeast Asia and its culture, which led her to take up internship in Thailand. Later on, Mom Joy became an archaeologist and eventually ended up teaching the subject here in the Philippines. Thirdly, Mom Joy is a living example of a great leader. Since 2001, up until 2010, Ma'am Joy served as the president of the Quezon City Ladies Foundation Incorporated. In 2011, Ma'am Joy became an ambassador of peace for the Universal Peace Foundation and also became a Paul Harris Fellow at the Rotary Foundation, Rotary International. Mom Joy was later on elected as the Vice Mayor of Quezon City and was the presiding officer of the 18th, 19th, and 20th Quezon City Councils from July 10 to June, 9, June 2019. During that nine years as Vice Mayor, Mom Joy was awarded with various recognitions from different international and local organizations such as most outstanding vice mayor by the Gawad Sulu Nagbayan. Outstanding local executive of the year 2018, awarded by the NCRPO. The Golden Wheel Award for Women Empowerment by Rotary International 3780. The Daman ng Kababahian Award for Public Service. The Jerry Ross Award for Excellence in Leadership by the Jerry Ross Foundation. Mam Joy was one of People Asia's Women of Style and Substance and the Mother's Heart Heritage Award as Outstanding Woman in Local Legislation and Service to Women and Children by the Women's Federation for World Peace. Under her leadership during the 18th, 19th, and 20th Quezon City Council, the DILG has conferred upon the Quezon City Council the Legislative Award for Best Sampuliang Panguso in the Philippines for two consecutive terms. Mam Joy is also the proponent of the Barangay Seal of Good Housekeeping Award given yearly to outstanding community-based good governance initiatives. Through her initiative, the Quezon City Council passed, the, passed some of the following uh, landmark measures. The ordinance creating the Quezon City Protection Center at the Quezon City General Hospital for victims of gender-based violence which provided an all-in-one facility for abuse victims. Various services such as legal, medical, and psychiatric are freely provided for the victims. Also, the Gender Fair Ordinance of Quezon City, the Environment and Waste Management Code of Quezon City, the Quezon City Housing, Community Development and Resettlement Department, the Quezon City Hall Breastfeeding Station, which aims to assist nursing mothers who are attending to mothers in the Quezon City Hall. The construction of a local history museum inside the Quezon City Memorial Circle, now called the Quezon City Experience. Other projects of Mount Joy was the launching on November 2018 of the Patas UC application. This initiative is the first 
mobile application in the Philippines to feature local ordinances. It, its aim is to raise awareness regarding the rules and the corresponding penalties of non-compliance in order to minimize the violations among the people in the city. Beforehand, Mamjoy also launched the Quezon City Integrated Drug Abuse Profiling System or QCI DAPS, the only application in the Philippines which provided for the database system of all the surrenders involved in illegal drugs through QCI DAPS. UCI DAPS will be later on adapted by the different local government units in Metro Manila. Our guest of honor speaker was born on March 15 by spouses Madame Betico and former Speaker of the House Feliciano Sani Belmonte Jr. Mom Joy has three brothers, namely Isaac Belmonte the current head of the editorial board of the Philippine Star, Kevin Belmonte, the vice chairman of the New Bulan Philippines, and Miguel Belmonte, the current president and CEO of the Philippine Star. Mom Joy is happily married to Sir Raymond Aliburu. For your information, she Sir Raymond Langlaman, Ang CEO ng pinakamalaking online shop, yung Lazada. And they were also blessed with a handsome and equally talented son, Gael. Let us now welcome and big a round of applause to our guest of honor speaker, a leader who lives in terrible marks to the society or to any family she touches. The newly elected mayor of Quezon City, Honorable Maria Osepena Joy Belmontima. To Commander Luis Gif Tilas Pahina. At maraming salamat kay Colonel Granada sa napakagandang papakilala na parang kalambuhay ko na ata ang kwento niya. Alam ang Karapiasan City si Colonel Granada. The Police Major General Guillermo D. Elazar, Regional Director of the NCRTO, the Police Brigadier General Herminio S. Padeo Jr., Deputy Regional Director for Administration. The Police Brigadier General Crisaldo Nieves, Deputy Regional Director for Operations. The Police Brigadier General Ronaldo Genaro Ilagan, Regional Chief Director of our staff. The Dr. Melvin Villarus, Metal Vision Emergency Medical Services. To our members of the National Capital Region Police Office, to our men in uniform, good morning. It is an honor and privilege to speak before the brave men and women of the National Capital Region Police Office, led by Major General Guillermo Lorenzo Elizar. Bias po si General Elizar, ako po ang pinakaunang mayor na kanyang inanayahan sapagkat siya po ay nagaling sa Lungsod Queso. Maraming po salamat. I credit General Elizar with bringing back the public's trust and confidence in our police force when he was QCPD's district director during our joint efforts to pursue the president's mandate against illegal drugs. He was relentless in restoring the broken bridges between our communities and our law enforcers. And it was through our partnership, I, as the head of the Quezon City Anti-Drug Abuse Council then, together with the religious sector and the DILG that Quezon City developed the holistic framework that has made our city famous as the premier city in the anti-drug campaign. General Esquivel, who uh, took his place, continued the legacy left by his predecessor, among other things he has done. And now I extend my heartfelt congratulations to all the members of the Quezon City Police Department 
for being recognized as the most outstanding police district and police community relations in Metro Manila. I also congratulate the NCRPO for being recognized as the most outstanding regional police office in our country. Thank you to the NCRPO for recognizing the efforts of Quezon City's dedicated policemen in ensuring that the cooperation between our civilians and our men in uniform continues unabated and with more vigor. The NCRPO has been overwhelmingly committed to its mandate and our people. I commend the leadership of General Eliazar and his officers for improving security in Metro Manila and leading the way in reducing crimes and illegal drug transactions in the region. He has also steered the path towards an honest police department with integrity, worthy of our citizens' faith, trust, and confidence. I highly commend you for the fact that the crime rate in NCR has greatly declined by 58% since 2016. Congratulations for this great achievement. This is indeed a major accomplishment that contributes greatly to President Rodrigo Duterte's overall campaign against all kinds of criminality, including terrorism. In Quezon City, I am told by General Esquivel that many days go by without any index crimes being committed at all. And I attribute the leadership of General Eliazar for guiding our troops in Quezon City for that accomplishment as well. NCRPO has evolved into a highly credible and highly capable institution and has indeed become a role model for other police offices. I believe not just in the Philippines, but in the entire region of the ASEAN and maybe in the world as well. Alam po ninyo, isang buwan at limang araw pa lang akong naupo bilang mayor ng Lungsod, Quezon, ngunit maraming hamon na ang sumasalubong sa akin. Aside from the usual problems confronting a newly elected mayor when he or she assumes office, there are many other enormous challenges that surfaced in the past few days. Kasama na po niyan ang kautosan ni Pangulong Duterte na linisin ang ating mga lansangan sa loob ng anim na put araw. Para isa isang pagitong alkalde katulad ko, itinuturing ko po itong isang napakalaking hamon, lalong pat ang Quezon City, ang pinakamalaking lungsod sa Metro Manila, comprising one-fourth of the region. But I believe that with the help of the NCRPO, led by General Elizar and the QCPD, headed by General Esquivel, we can accomplish this enormous task at hand. Hindi po ako papayang na masuspende bilang alkalde ng Lungsod Quezon ng DILG. Every time I see General Eliazar and General Esquivel, as well as the other officials of the NCRPO, you never hesitate to offer me assistance. And thus, I am reassured that you are truly, um, you, are, you really want to see this rookie mayor succeed in this enormous task. Working with the NCRPO and the QCPD is not new to the Quezon City local government. Through the years, we have supported the collaboration of NCRPO and QCPD in all its safety and security programs. Under the administration of Mayor Herbert Bautista, we wholeheartedly supported our local police department. In 2017, 50 brand new patrol cars were formally turned over to QCPD after a resolution was passed by the City Council, which I headed, to allocate a budget for the modernization of our police units. At umaasa ako na lahat ng mga mayor ng Metro Manila ay ganun din sumuporta sa kanilang mga police districts. A year after, an additional 25 patrol cars were donated by the Quezon City local government to our police force along with assault rifles and ammunition in order to continuously maintain peace and order in the city. To promote transparency and boost police patrol operations, Quezon City also turned over 300 body-worn cameras and 3,000 handcuffs plus 75 brand new Yamaha and Max motorcycles. These are some of the ways the local government has reassured our citizens of our commitment to their safety as well as crime prevention and reduction in their communities. Also, early this year, 
a resolution to donate computers to QCPD stations in Cubao, Project 4, Adonas, and Eastwood was passed by the Quezon City Council. This is in addition to the computers given to all QC police stations as part of our program to build a unified database of all surrendered drug users, now numbering more than 20,000. And now, as Quezon City's mayor, I assure our local police department and as I would like to assure General Eldazar as well of my full support to more developments that would boost their operations. General Esquivel and myself have already discussed our plans for the next three years in our Executive Legislative Agenda Workshop last Thursday and Friday, which includes appropriating a huge budget for enhancing police skills, visibility and capability, and improving police, police systems and facilities. Sa tingin ko, General Elizar, huwag mo masyadong problemahin ang Lumisod Quezon sapagkat hindi lang mag-usay ang inyong uh, police department dyan, kundi malaking-malaki ang support na namin at mas malaki pa. Lalakihan ko pa ang support sa kanila sa mga parating sa kanilang Pwede kayo mag-concentrate sa iba pang mga lungsod sa ating pong, um, metropolis, sa ating pong region. When I took over as mayor, I unveiled a large-scale 14-point executive agenda that I intend to implement in the first three years of my term. Included in my agenda is to build a safer and more resilient city where every citizen will feel safe and free from harm. Also, I want to turn Quezon City into a preferred destination for businesses in my first three years in office. Pagdating po sa mga layunin kong ito, muli kong hihingiin ang tulong ng mga pinuno ng NCRPO at UCPD. Paano magiging ang mga lansama ng Quezon City kung wala ang magiging natin mga pagkabulisan? Paano maingganyo ang mga negosyante na mamuhunan sa Quezon City kung magulo ang ating lungsod? Hindi po may sasakatuparan ang mga plano ito kung wala ang napakahalalang tulong at kooperasyon ng NCRPO at UCPD. Together with the NCRPO and all its police departments, let us work together in providing safe cities for our citizens that would foster brighter futures for our children. Before I end, I cannot help but remember the joke told by our beloved President Rodrigo Duterte two weeks ago when he invited the local chief executives from all over the country to a fellowship at the Manila Hotel. Sinabi niya na sa tingin niya, anim na put porsyento daw ng mga mayor at gobernador sa Pilipinas ay babaero na siyang dahilan kung bakit dumaganang ang korupsyon at iligal na droga sa ating bansa. Pabiro niyang pinagpatuloy na di alam ng mga mayor na ang kahati pala niya sa mga babae sa kanilang mga bayan ay ang kanilang chief of police. While it was a joke, I respectfully disagree with our dear president. I do believe that with our PNP's various moral recovery programs, our cleansing programs, sa Quezon City meron pa kami retreat na sinasagawa taon-taon, nababawasan na ang malalaking bilang ng mga polis na di napagkakatiwalaan. At sinasaludo ko po kayo, General Elazar, dahil kayo po nagsimula niyan. Alam ko sa Lungsod Quezon at ngayon dito po sa Metro Manila. Sana ang mga mayor din natin, maliban sa akin, ay magkaroon ng meritoring mga programa para makakasiguro lahat ng mga mamamayan na ating pinaglilikuran na tayong lahat ay naandito na sinasakamli po natin ang ating mga personal na interes alang-alang sa kapakanan ng sambayan ng Pilipino. So sa inyong lahat, isang malagod at mainit na pagbati, mabuhay po tayong lahat, mabuhay po lahat ng mga lingkod bayan sa ating pong rehiyon, mabuhay po ang kapulisan, mabuhay po ang bansang Pilipinas. Maraming salamat po isang malagod. Maraming po. Thank you, ma'am, for that inspiring message. Please be seated, ma'am, sir.
We will request our regional director, Police Major General Guillermo de Renzo de Lizar, to present a flag of appreciation to our guest of honor, Speaker Mayor Josefina Joy G. Belmonte, to be assisted by the other members of the combined group. Citation reads National Capital Region Police Office Flag of Appreciation is presented to Mayor Josefina G. Belmonte, Mayor. Quezon City, in grateful appreciation for her invaluable support to the National Capital Region Police Office as guest of honor and speaker during the traditional Monday flag raising and awarding ceremonies given this 5th day of August 2019 at NCRPO headquarters, Camp Bangundiwa, Mugutan, Taguig City. Also, a memento is presented to Mayor Sipina Joy Belmonte.
Thank you, sir.
That concludes our program for today. Have a fruitful week.